Imagine a fighter jet that looks like it flew straight out of a science fiction movie. A jet with no tail, shaped like a sleek flat diamond. This was the X-44 Manta, a concept that promised to rewrite the rules of air combat. The Manta, or multi-axis no-tail aircraft, was a joint NASA and US Air Force project aiming for a revolutionary leap in agility, stealth, and simplicity. The plan, take the F-22 Raptor's airframe and strip away its vertical and horizontal tails, replacing them with advanced thrust vectoring. Instead of traditional control surfaces, the Manta would steer, by directing its engine exhaust, a radical shift in aircraft design. By eliminating the tail, the X-44 aimed for all aspects stealth, making it nearly invisible to radar from any angle. Its unique control system promised superhuman agility, enabling maneuvers impossible for conventional jets. But the X-44 Manta never left the drawing board. The project was cancelled before a prototype was built. Why was such a promising aircraft never realized? The story of the Manta is a lesson in the complex interplay of technology, budgets, and priorities. Even the most groundbreaking ideas can be sidelined, but their spirit can live on to shape the future. The X-44 remains one of aviation's great what-ifs, a vision that still inspires. The X-44 Manta's most striking feature was its tailless, pure delta-wing design a large, flattened triangle with no vertical or horizontal stabilizers. Unlike earlier Delta Wing jets, the Manta eliminated the tail assembly entirely, creating a smooth, uninterrupted shape. This radical approach offered huge advantages. First, stealth. Vertical tails reflect radar signals, making planes easy to spot. By removing them, the X-44 presented a cleaner profile, dramatically reducing its radar cross-section. Second, the tailless design cut weight and drag, boosting speed, range, and payload capacity. Fewer moving parts also meant simpler, potentially cheaper maintenance. But without a tail, traditional control was impossible. No rudder for yaw, no elevators for pitch. The Manta would have been inherently unstable, like riding a unicycle with no hands. The solution? Thrust vectoring, using the engines themselves to steer. This technology was the key to unlocking the potential of the Manta's radical form. The tailless Delta Wing wasn't just a design choice, it was a bold step toward the next generation of stealth and performance. The challenge, could it actually fly? That's where thrust vectoring came in. Thrust vectoring was the secret to making the tailless X-44 Manta flyable. Instead of relying on traditional control surfaces, the Manta's engines could swivel their exhaust nozzles in any direction, up, down, left, or right. This allowed the aircraft to control pitch and yaw by literally pointing its power, replacing the need for a tail. Imagine a fire hose, angle the nozzle, and you change direction. The Manta did this with jet engines. Advanced multi-axis thrust vectoring nozzles would have given the Manta agility far beyond conventional fighters. At low speeds or extreme angles, where normal control surfaces fail, thrust vectoring keeps the jet maneuverable. The Manta could point its nose at an enemy even while flying sideways, a game-changer in dogfights. But such control required a sophisticated fly-by-wire computer system. The pilot's commands would be translated by the computer into thousands of tiny adjustments per second, keeping the unstable jet stable. This fusion of digital flight control and thrust vectoring was the heart of the Manta concept. It made the impossible, flying a tailless fighter, possible. The result? a jet that could outmaneuver anything in the sky. Stealth was at the core of the X-44 Manta's design. By removing vertical and horizontal tails, the Manta eliminated major radar reflectors, shrinking its radar cross-section dramatically. Its smooth, blended delta wing deflected radar energy away, making it a ghost on enemy screens. The skin would have used radar-absorbent materials, and every seam, intake, and exhaust was shaped to minimize detection. Even the engine intakes and exhausts were designed to hide reflective turbine blades. The result? A jet that could approach targets undetected, strike first, and disappear. In air combat, seeing the enemy first, and staying unseen, is everything. The X-44 was designed to achieve first look, first shot, first kill, better than any fighter before it.
Its stealth wasn't just an upgrade, it was a revolution. The Manta was built to be invisible. The X-44 Manta was envisioned as a frontline fighter, matching, and in some ways surpassing, the F-22 Raptor. Powered by the same Pratt & Whitney engines, it could supercruise at over twice the speed of sound. Like the F-22, it carried weapons internally to preserve stealth, including AMRAMs and Sidewinders for air combat. The real difference was philosophy. The F-22 balanced traditional controls with thrust vectoring, while the X-44 went all-in on radical stealth and agility. The Manta's tailless design made it more unstable, relying entirely on advanced computers for control. This meant higher risk, but also the potential for unmatched performance. The F-22 was the safe bet. The X-44 was the moonshot. If it worked, it would have outturned and outfoxed any opponent. But it demanded perfection from its technology. The Manta was a racehorse, fast, agile, but needing expert handling. It was the ultimate, high-risk, high-reward fighter. Despite its promise, the X-44 Manta was cancelled in 2000, before a prototype was built. The main reason, cost. Developing such a revolutionary jet would have required billions, and the Pentagon was already funding the F-22 and the ambitious F-35 programs there simply wasn't room in the budget for another experimental fighter. Technological risk also played a role. Integrating tailless aerodynamics and advanced thrust vectoring was unproven in a real-world jet. Decision-makers chose to focus on the F-22, seeing it as a safer, more immediate leap. The Manta became a casualty of timing, budget, and risk. The X-44 Manta never flew, but its ideas live on. Its tailless, stealth-focused design has influenced the next generation of fighters, like those in the NGAD program. Modern concept art shows jets with no vertical tails, echoing the Manta's vision. Advances in computing and flight control have made tailless flight more achievable. Multi-axis thrust vectoring, pioneered by the Manta, is now a key goal for future fighters. The Manta also foreshadowed the rise of AI-driven flight control and optionally manned aircraft. Its legacy is a roadmap for the future of air combat. The X-44's ghost haunts the drawing boards of today's most advanced jets. The X-44 Manta's story is a lesson in innovation. Sometimes the boldest ideas arrive before their time or lose out to safer bets. The Manta was a revolution, but budget and risk favored the evolutionary F-22. Yet, cancelled projects aren't failures. The knowledge gained shaped future designs. The Manta's data and expertise became the foundation for today's next-gen fighters. Its vision, of a smarter, stealthier, more agile jet, endures. The X-44 proves that powerful ideas can shape the future, even if they never leave the drawing board. Sometimes, the purpose of an X-Plane is to plant seeds for tomorrow. The Manta's spirit inspires engineers to keep pushing boundaries. Its legacy is alive in every bold new design. Today, the X-44 Manta stands as an unbuilt legend. A symbol of what might have been. Had it flown, it could have accelerated fighter evolution by a decade, changing the face of air combat. Its absence left a void delaying the rise of tailless, ultra-stealthy jets. The Manta's cancellation was a pragmatic choice, but it postponed the next great leap in aeronautics. Now, as new tailless fighters emerge, the Manta's vision is finally taking flight. It remains a symbol of bold ambition and a challenge to future generations. The X-44 never flew, but its legacy is soaring higher than ever. The dream lives on in the fighters of tomorrow.